Indonesia is the world's largest shark and ray fishery. So this is really ground zero for trying to do any type of shark and ray conservation. Mancing itu kan sudah satu tradisi kan untuk kebutuhan sehari-hari. Kalau kita tidak mau mancing itu tidak bisa. Thresher sharks, of course, worldwide are threatened. Um, they're a species which are, you know, th there's a lot of problems in terms of fisheries bycatch. So I think that what we're going to find here is absolutely going to lead the way in terms of uh, the, the conservation efforts that we'll do across the region. From a scientific point of view, this is a very, very interesting site for us because this is one of the places in Indonesia that we know so far there's thresher shark and we could have access to it through our collaboration with the fishermen and that could be a valuable asset in the future. In order to protect thresher sharks in this region, it's really important that we understand where they're moving and one of the ways that we can do that is by deploying satellite tags onto the sharks themselves. Every day on this trip really was about finding the sharks, tagging them, getting that important population ecology data and the measurements, um, and then releasing the sharks. My main role is to help out when it comes to the tagging of the treasure sharks, um, especially the last few days. I've been helping to resuscitate and experiment how to resuscitate a treasure shark, and knowing the proper way to resuscitate a treasure shark was a very um, enriching experience, I guess. Uh, the community is very, very supportive. They are very excited to help us, even though they're still relying uh, their livelihood towards catching their sharks, but they feel also the, the shark is getting less and less and less. So it could be good to, if we could you know, work together with them to also find some viable alternative livelihoods for this machine. I said, if you can, you can tell us <laughs> Usahakan bagaimana supaya kita jangan tangkap ikan hiu. Kenapa saya bilang begitu? Karena dia kan beranak. Saat kita tarik naik itu kan ada yang anaknya besar. Pas saat kita bela dia perempuan itu kan anaknya sudah mulai gerak. Saat kita kasih kelor langsung dia mulai lari. Jadi saya pernah pikir itu sampai air mata kelor itu. Dia sepertinya apa? Mama dia tinggal mamanya begitu. Dia cari-cari mamanya itu itu. This was our first time uh, having the opportunity to support a conservation project. I feel that we were very successful on this project and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to be a part of the next one.
Alor itself represents a very unique opportunity to study thresher sharks, and we've shown now very conclusively that we can then um, tag or measure or basically manipulate the animals, release them, and have high survivability, so far 100% survivability. The Indonesian Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Affairs is very keen to, to, to start to understand thresher sharks in Indonesia, and I think that this is going to, to provide um, a really good basis uh, for, for, for starting to learn that. Indonesia has an incredible wealth of shark and rays and until now they've only been looked at from an exploitation perspective and they have such immense value uh, as a living asset um, for tourism and just for their, their, their aesthetic value. Incredible animals, really incredible animals. They've been around for hundreds of millions of years. Let's make sure that they don't disappear on our watch.